Earth, you look lonely. You should find yourself a girlfriend. What? I don't need no girlfriend. Okay, okay. I hope you find one. But first, we should take notes on the successful couples. Successful? Yeah, the married ones. You know, the only four planets with rings. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So let's look at Jupiter first. The great red spot on him is a huge storm that has been raging for at least 350 years. And Jupiter has these unique cloud features. The upper atmosphere of Jupiter is divided into cloud belts and zones. They are made primarily of ammonia, crystals, and sulfur. But remember, looks aren't everything. Girls love personality with diversity. Moon, I don't think you're listening. Next up, Saturn. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant and is composed of similar gases, including hydrogen, helium, and methane. Saturn has the most extensive rings in the solar system. Her rings are made mostly of chunks of ice and small amounts of carbonaceous dust. The rings stretch out more than 120,700 kilometers from the planet, but are amazingly thin, only about 20 meters thick. Huh? Did you say something? Then there is Uranus. Uranus is tipped over on its side with an axis tilt of 98 degrees. It is often described as rolling around the sun on its side, making him stand out from the other planets. Wait, how did that happen? Oh, what the? Hey, come back here. This is not funny. Hey! Like the other gas giants, it has a hydrogen upper layer, which has helium mixed in. Below that is an icy mantle, which surrounds its rock and ice core. The upper atmosphere is made of water ammonia and the methane ice crystals that give the planet its pale blue color. I'm pretty sure me being on my side for too long is making me pale. If someone will help me, I will have this problem. Well, moving on. Neptune, the farthest planet from our sun, its atmosphere is made of hydrogen and helium with some methane. It spins on its axis very rapidly, taking 18 hours for a full rotation because it does not have a solid body. Take it from me, Earth, you don't need a fit body to find love. Good advice. Okay, Earth, now that we've taken notes on that, you can now find yourself a girlfriend. <sighs> Moon, I seriously don't need a girlfriend. Now, we've got Mercury. Unlike many other planets which self-heal through natural geological process, the surface of Mercury is covered in craters. She also has a molten core. It is estimated that Mercury's core makes up 42% of its volume, while your core makes up 17%. Then there is Venus. She rotates in the opposite direction to the Sun. This is also known as retrograde rotation. She is also the brightest and hottest planet in our solar system. Although, I'd be careful around her. She's known to be deadly. Her atmosphere consists of dense clouds of sulfuric acid surrounding Venus, making it impossible to view its surface from outside its atmosphere. It is thought that Venus did once have oceans, but these evaporated as the planet's temperature increased. So pretty, but deadly. Looks can be deceiving. Then there is Mars. You and Mars have approximately the same landmass. She has the tallest mountain in the solar system, Olympus Mont. For years, Mars has been known to have water in the form of ice. The first sign of trickling water are the darkest stripes or stains on the crater walls and cliffs. Also, she might be capable of having life on her. She pretty much resembles you. Moon, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm just not ready to be in a relationship. Alright, alright. But if you ever need a hug, just ask. Can I have a hug? No one likes you, Pluto.